Now that we've talked a little bit about MIDI and how to record it, let's talk about how to edit MIDI. So here I have a single track and I have MIDI information in this region. This is a software instrument that's a marimba, just from our built-in library. And I've recorded something using my MIDI keyboard. And now if I go to edit, edit notes, I'll see this right here. This is called the piano roll. And you can see over here, you can see the piano notes. And over time, you can see the playhead moving from left to right. So I can do a couple different things here. Let's start with adjusting notes. So notice I have this arrow selected, and this allows me to move notes. So we'll start with that. The first thing I might do is I might want to manually move notes. So maybe I notice, oh, you know what? This 16th note is a little early. It's a little bit to the left of that line. So I want to take it and scoot it to the right and have it be perfectly aligned. Obviously, I could quantize this as well, but maybe I just want to move one note at a time. So this allows me to do that. If I move this while I have this magnet up here on, that's going to snap to grid, which means it will only start exactly on one of these vertical lines on an eighth note or sixteenth note or something. But if I hold command on a Mac or control on a Chromebook or a PC, I'm basically temporarily overriding that snap to grid. And this allows me to move it with more precise control. And I might want to do that. I might like the sound of imperfect rhythms. So that allows me to do that if I hold command while I drag left and right. Another thing I can do is I can bring this note up or down to change the actual pitch. Like maybe I played a wrong note, which I actually did here. This right here is an A, but it should be a D. So I'm just going to take that and drag it down. I can also change the end of a note. So I could adjust the end of the note right there. I just grab the right edge of that note and I can drag it left and right. I can also make changes on multiple notes. So maybe I take, I want to take all these notes and say, you know what, this actually should be an octave higher or a fifth higher or something. If I highlight all these notes, I can drag them all together. So if I just click in the center of that note, not on the beginning or the end, but in the center of that note, I can drag it up. So in this case, I'll move it up an octave. And now I have those exact same patterns, but up an octave, or I can move it down a half step or a whole step, etc, etc. I'm going to go ahead and put that back to the original key. So those are the first couple steps, adjusting the beginning and end of a note, and changing a note to a different pitch, or I can either change the length of multiple notes, or transpose multiple notes, or shift them in time. So now let's look at this second tool here. If I click on this little pencil, this allows me to click once to add a new note. If I was using the arrow, I could still do that. I just need to double click to add a note. But this pencil makes it a little bit easier to go ahead and add new notes. And then I can switch back to this to delete those notes. So that's a pretty simple tool right here. It just allows you to draw new notes. This V is a different tool. This is controlling velocity. And velocity means volume in most cases. Basically, each one of these different notes can have a different velocity or a different volume or a different dynamic. And that's controlled by the velocity. So velocity is a value of MIDI. It's like a number. You can see on this G2, I can see a velocity of 127, which is the highest velocity the loudest a note can be. But I could click and hold and drag down, and I could turn that velocity much lower. And then that individual note would be quieter. This is separate from changing the volume of the whole track because this velocity allows me to change the volume or the velocity of individual notes. I can also change the velocity of multiple notes. If I highlight them all, I can drag up and I can change all of these notes to have a higher velocity. You'll hear every time I do that, it's playing a new note to give me an example of how loud that's going to be. Like, listen like this. And that gives me an idea of how loud that note is. And then the final tool here is this little trash can. This just allows you to delete notes by clicking on them once. Alternatively, you could keep this selected, and then you can just highlight notes and hit backspace or delete on your keyboard. That'll do the same thing. 
Um, but if you prefer, you can use the button here to just delete individual notes by clicking on them once. I'm bringing these notes back by doing Command Z or Control Z, that's undo. So now you've seen how to do some basic MIDI editing. See you in the next one.